Welcome back to Revolution Disc Golf. Today we got a practice round with just Chris on Upper Meadows. Upper Meadows is on the same course as, or the same property as Lower Forest. It's the other course on the property. Um, this is one that we play a lot, but just haven't uploaded a video of, and I don't know how. Um, so you guys see hole one. I took a big forehand off the tee. Basket's down here by these rocks. Try for a little jump putt. I can give it two sometimes, but I really have to hit a long putt for it. Um, here's hole two. Just right up hill, pretty straight shot. I throw a mid-range. I threw my Supra. Uh, here I go for my two on this. This video is a little bit quicker pace, and I don't have distances on these holes, but I try my best with these, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, this is hole three. Uh, this is about 400 feet. You want to throw it pretty straight. The basket's in the tree line. That's to your left off the tee pad. So normally you just try to buy off as much, as much distance and don't get into those trees. Normally I'm out in the middle of the field, but pulled it kind of tight today. But got up and down for the par. Uh, this is hole four. This is about 400 feet as well. Uh, you just want to throw, get up on that hill as far as you can. And um, I pinch myself off on the left again. Uh, normally don't do this, just like the last hole, but it's okay. Um, just tapping in right here. So uh, here we go to hole five. Hole five is a nice little short hole, very fun to play. Here soon, we're going to have our Revolution Tour starting up, and this is going to be the first course. Dylan picked it out. Um, so you guys will see the full 18 today. I just have 12 holes for you guys plus hole 18. So, uh, we're already on hole six. It's a nice little short hole. You can give it a nice little ace run. So I throw in my zone, put it out wide and let it just skip towards the basket. Nice little two putt. Uh, this is hole seven. Sits right over 300 feet. Dead straight shot. Couldn't be any easier. You pick whatever line you want and you just go for it. Cashed out the two on that. Uh, this is hole eight, so I would throw from like the right side of the screen. Um, it's hard to see, but it's like a big forehand or like a big turnover shot. It's very like difficult, and I struggle with this hole a lot. <laughs> but um, I actually have a, probably one of my better drives for this video, and it's kind of hard to get the good cameraing on this hole because it's such like a difficult hole because the fairway shapes in the awkward like position. I don't know. Uh, this is hole nine. The tee pad was a little slick, so I threw off from the left. Um, you just want to get straight through those gaps. Hopefully, don't hit a tree and get down here to the green. Since this is a practice round, I was taking two butts. Sorry, not sorry. Got to get better somehow. Hole 10. Throw him back from the tee pad a little bit. A little too icy. Uh, I shanked my matrix over here. I was like, I'm not playing from over there because I had no way to stand. So, I still got hit in the noggin right there. Lining up this little upshot with a C Otter. Um, absolutely shanked the shot, though. It's pretty bad. I'm going to go for the putt here. Um, everything on Upper Meadows is a par 3, just like uh, Lower Forest is. So, pretty fun. Uh, here we go in hole 11. Pretty straight, just a little under 200 feet, but it's downhill. Or not under 200 feet, a little over 200 feet. Um, I tried throwing like, the forehand line there, but I absolutely shanked my shot and turned my tour over. Toro over. Here I go for my putt from where my zone landed, though. Trying to sink both of those in. Just get more putting practice. Hole 12. This is the last hole besides the 18 I have on here. Uh, hole 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. You'll see soon in the Revolution Tour, like I mentioned earlier. So be looking out for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do an announcement video about that here soon. Probably later this week. So be looking out for that. Here we go on hole 18. Uh, this is my normal play I throw on this hole. And then I decided it was necessary for the video to throw every single driver that I have above a 7 speed in my bag. So, um, I don't know what order I throw these in. That looks like it's my pro rafe right here. So, the first shot, I want to zoom in so you guys can see where it landed. But after that, I didn't feel like zooming in. So, we're just going to let these discs eat. Then, kind of talk about like the rest of the course. Um, hole 13 is a difficult hole, but it's very parable. But it is one that if you can get the birdie, you'll probably be the only one getting the birdie in the group uh, with how all of us play. Hole 14 is a nice little forehand hole. Um, some of us can hit it very well. Some of us can't. And it all just depends if we get a good shot or not. It's completely lucky. Uh, 15 is a tricky, pretty tight tunnel shot. Um, straight downhill. 
The green plays a little uphill. It kind of has like a little valley in the middle, uh, like 75% down the hole. Um, 16 is a long kind of hyzer flip shot. You want to let something just flip up a little bit and ride for a while uphill. 17 is about the same thing. Actually, they just added a new short tee pad for 17. That's actually a 200 foot just like straight shot uphill, slight uphill. And then you see hole 18 here. So this course, Upper Meadows, is a very beautiful course. Our very first flying saucer tournament back when we were flying saucer was played on Lower Forest and Upper Meadows. But we never got the footage for Upper Meadows uploaded. So this is going to be the first footage from Upper Meadows uploaded. I just said that a lot. Sorry. Um, but I love this course. You guys are going to be seeing a lot more of it. You saw it for the in the bags with uh, my in the bag and AJ's in the bag. So, I want to thank you guys for supporting those videos too. AJ has a lot of views, um, most of you videos so far. So, we just hope to keep growing and growing. Um, let us know if there's anything you guys want to see. Drop it down in the comment section and we'll try to get to it as soon as we can. We've got some more ideas lined up. We've got some more things coming out soon. So, just stay tuned. Make sure you guys share this with all your friends. It means a lot to us. Please sub. Please like. It's just a little click for you, but it goes a long way for us. And we appreciate it a lot. See you guys next time.